This is Twit. Well, I'm proud today Here we go. to introduce you to Windows 10 S. S. So this is the Windows Cloud platform, and I guess that's going to be the name, S, for simple. It is yeah, I'm not sure. I would not leap to the conclusion that it's cloud-based. It sure, and it runs with superior performance. That is, in a way, but a negative, isn't it, for like the Chromebook? It really doesn't Windows work well 10S, unless you're online. The soul exactly. Of and and Microsoft famously enlisted the pawn stars to approve that. We've everything that teachers need a couple and years millions back. of people love about Windows 10 and created a new Windows experience that's ideal for all of our creative endeavors inside and out of the classroom. Let me show you Windows 10 S. So, uh, so here I am running Windows 10 S. Usually Terry doesn't do the phone. demos, does he? This is interesting. Windows 10 S runs on the full range of Windows 10 hardware. They, they've like lost the guy with the hat. Book, but also yeah. the entry spec devices that we find in classrooms all over the world. Now, the first thing you'll notice about Windows there. 10 S Terry's presentation is a new skills have gotten much better. Desktop yeah. image. Just like we've streamlined Windows 10 to create Windows 10 S, the default desktop image on Windows 10 S has been streamlined and still beautiful. Yeah, it's struggling a little bit. Now, though. everything that what is, runs what is on different Windows about 10S that? It looks exactly like Windows 10. Windows Store, which means well, he said the image it's verified has been streamlined. Is that, what does and that it's mean? Downloaded to uh, the device, it runs that means the, the, its footprint on the disk and its footprint in memory. The execution of the Got application it. doesn't impact the overall performance of the rest of the system allowing the performance of the device to be the same on day one as day 1000 in use of the device. Now, there's many applications within the Windows Store, but it's pretty exciting to announce today that the Office uh, suite, the full desktop applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and more, will be coming soon to the Windows Store. Office now, 365 Windows Personal, today for the peripherals, the a touch-first version of Office, not the one that they're Windows. currently shipping, well, which they're slowly withdrawing from the desktop version of, Windows of the Windows Store. We're seeing incredible Boy, you sure mixed Brian reality Roper headsets here. being created by our partners. So excited to see the classroom lesson plans that are being created to go with these this, like Acer virtual reality headset here with the Surface Book. But some of the most exciting stuff we're seeing plugged into Windows are these new lessons that looks like a Surface education. Book in front of him. Nothing and so today, different, right? Or is it? Uh, what we've done well, here is look at the hinge. from the store. I can't oh, see. I can't see it. Yeah. This Arduino it actually looks a little smaller. That pen robot. is is is. You can see here what a student. Unless it's a new, bigger pen. Scratch. Visually programmed to scratch. This might be the thirteen and a half inch. Plan. Hello, humans. I'm Obot. Who is programming me today? Oh Lord. <laughs> nice to meet you, Terry. <laughs> I love working with kids to teach them how to code. I'm already being used in over 1,000 schools around the world today. This could only be worse I've if you pulled say, it out of a Windows bag and it said hello. Windows 10S looks pretty impressive so far. What else have you got to show us, Terry? His mouth. So, I mean, I think down in the showcase, you'll see many more. There's just so many cool things that are being plugged into Windows 10 or Windows 10S soon to enable these great STEM lesson plans. Yeah, that must now, be the new laptop. Listening to teachers and it looks to inspire Windows 10 S. Small. But we've also been doing the same with Microsoft Smaller than a Surface Edge. Book. Now, Windows 10 S will run Can't any tell. web browser in the Windows Store. But with Microsoft Edge, it's been inspired Somebody in the chat by room teachers and points students out as well. So when that recently VR we announced the ability probably to set aside tabs, well on <laughs> what we were really S. doing at that time, or Windows S hardware, was thinking about how a student doing a research project. I'm pretty would sure collect. Windows 10S will run on anything. Here's the tabs of the research I'm doing on the solar system. Here's the tabs related but, to the but, research I'm doing. Yeah, you need pretty heavy-duty hardware to run a VR. Here's the tabs associated with my science research. Headset, I when think. Maybe not. annotation to Edge. Depends on the VR. About a scenario That's what it does. You're right. You could a, use a phone for. Of a student right. doing his research, gear highlighting a daydream, a section of a web page. Circling stealing, a section that they really enjoy stealing and a paragraph it with other teachers or students, pasting it into his doing their collaborative report. work for. So Microsoft Edge is increasingly more focused on being delightful for these teachers and students in the classroom. Now I mentioned every application that runs on Windows 10s. I, do, I feel, feel like that one note in the so pen uh, and, and that kind of easy uh, kind of telestration is valuable for both teacher and student. I use it all oh, the time on my Surface yeah. Studio. Yeah. I and love I will it. very much so. Download something. Especially for a teacher presenting, I think. 
When you do, that's one Windows note he's 10 using. S pops up this helpful dialogue, letting you know the application oh, you no, just tried edge. to run has not been verified for, for security and safety by Microsoft. What it does, though, is offer you applications in the store oh, there that you do go. similar things. So here it's recommending, instead of Crazy Picture <laughs> so. Editor, Adobe Photoshop. Now, if a teacher or administrator really <laughs> and, and wants to is, run that this application This is the management store, story. At any right. time, they can go you, to that Windows store. You can't store, install ransomware. You right. can't install... Windows oh, look at this. To Windows so software yeah. upgradability yeah. from S to Pro, which would then let you install ransomware. Now, I mentioned uh, maintaining consistent right. performance is so important in the classroom. The... One scenario a, a that's little tip of the hat there to the Adobe is the first login. You just have to use Photoshop. Student. Sorry. In classrooms, we see these carts of 30 or more devices, and students are coming in out of the classroom. They pick up a random device, and all the time, they'll be the first time they log in. And so we've been focused on that with Windows 10 S. So here I have two devices: a Windows 10 Pro device loaded up with several applications that are commonly found in the classroom. We have Google Chrome installed, Adobe Reader installed, McAfee antivirus installed, and that's it. And over here, we have comparable applications running on Windows 10 S. And so I'm going to be a student logging into this device for the very first time. And you'll see that the Windows 10 S device is going to log in for the very first time for this student in less than 15 seconds. This 10 Pro device will take 30, 40 seconds to log in. More applications would have it take even longer to log in. There you go. And so what this means in the classroom is the teacher can start teaching quicker. Still a lot longer than a Chromebook. Doesn't have to keep the students focused, waiting for the device to instant. log in. So this first login performance is fantastic. I don't fantastic. know how important that is. Now, if the student has been on this device before, I think the difference between zero and 10 seconds on the first login may not is meaningless. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, so it's the great, resuming uh, from opening it up. Yeah. Yeah. Which should be instantaneous. Right. Ricardo talked about uh, setting up new devices. Uh, this is a scenario uh, many teachers think about during the summer, or school districts are getting new devices all the time. So what we've done is we've created a new application called Set Up My School PCs. And what happens is a teacher or administrator goes into a wizard. They set up the Wi-Fi network for their school. Say, oh, these are going to go for my math cart. Maybe set up a new desktop image with a school logo. Specify I'm setting up whether a single student device or a shared card or a lab. Specify what applications they want on the device. Here we're recommending Office or Minecraft, but they're not there by default. A school chooses what they want. But at the end of this process, what gets created is a USB key. There you go. And then what the teacher or administrator does is they collect all of their classroom PCs. This is literally what we see happen in the classroom. And they'll take a PC in any state. This particular one is just out of the box. You plug in the USB key. It's detected by Windows. That's a nice feature. And in less than 30 seconds, I'll be able to pull this USB key out of the device and move on to the next one. I wonder if I can do that over the network, too. configured completely per the spec that I put, in, put together through this wizard. This is using provisioning packages, which is a standard Windows 10 deployment feature. So what they've done is they've taken an enterprise feature a, and consumerized it or educationized it. Ago, decided to move to Windows 10 from Chromebooks. And using the Set Up My PC app, they set up 600 PCs using 30 USB sticks in one day. So it's a, a pretty incredible process to set up and configure a said devices exactly how the teachers would like them to be. Now, the last step in our solution here is Intune for Education. I was wondering uh, I mentioned if they were how Ricardo has got 11,000 PCs in his school district. Intune so is their management tool for, is again, for our enterprise systems big boy windows. Software and we've customized it for schools. Intune now knows about carts in classrooms and knows about teachers versus students. And what an administrator can now do, you can see this is Intune for Education, configured for two high schools, Contoso and Fabricam. The students, teachers, te teachers and students in each, and an administrator during the school year can go in and say, oh, in this classroom, the students at this high school, for example, let's turn off the camera in that classroom. So all of the attributes of the devices that are in the school district if they're connected to the Wintune, Intune for Education, that can now be centrally managed with all the power of this rich enterprise management software we've had for years, now customized for schools. So that's Windows 10 S. It's inspired by students and teachers. 
It runs full rich applications that are secure and verified by Microsoft. It's easy to set up and manage, and it will have the same performance on the first day of school as the last. It really is the soul of today's Windows. Now, the world benefits when all students all over the planet have access to this latest technology. Windows achieves this scale through our partners, both our OEMs and software developers globally. And our goal with Windows 10S is to develop the same vibrant, partner-centric ecosystem we have today. Our partners, including Acer, Asus, Dell, Fujitsu, HP, Samsung, and Toshiba, offer a range of new education. I'm guessing Windows Microsoft's having the same internet problems today, in this uh, venue that they've had in the past because I don't. Either Mary Jo or Paul has tweeted in the last half hour. Or The Verge. It's very unlike them. These partners will offer these devices and new beautiful premium devices with Windows 10S in the coming months. Oh no, sorry. But I'm excited to announce more. <laughs> All I, of these I new education devices will now come with a free one-year subscription to Minecraft Education Edition. A lot of Minecraft players in the audience. And we are making well, and the Windows Education Edition is kind of coding-based, I think. Any of their right. current so. Windows Pro PCs. And that Office 365 for Education is also free for teachers and students worldwide. Wow. And today, Microsoft Intune for Education becomes broadly available for administrators. And you saw that uh, slide that said uh, PCs so started Windows at $189. Office 365 yeah, and including Minecraft. free Microsoft. This is our complete free office. solution for education. That's a, that's the price point. I think that's a very very important price point with Office as well. Right, yeah, adding Office, adding uh, Intune. Those are those are big benefits. Yeah.